For behold, in those days and at that time, when I bring back the captives of Judah and Jerusalem, I will gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. There I will enter into judgment with them on behalf of my people and my inheritance. Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and divided my land. Joel 3, 1-2 This passage resonates with the current time, raising the question, are we witnessing the unfolding of the divine plan? While some see in contemporary conflicts the echoes of biblical prophecies, others warn against the temptation to read the signs of the times too literally, reminding us of the complexity of applying ancient texts to modern circumstances. Are we, by doing so, at risk of oversimplifying the vast and intricate plans of God who said, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. Isaiah 55, 8. The battle of Gog and Magog is primarily mentioned in chapters 38 and 39 of the book of Ezekiel, a prophetic text of the Old Testament. Ezekiel, a Jewish prophet exiled in Babylon in the 6th century BC, receives divine visions revealing future events, including this great battle. This episode is often interpreted as an apocalyptic conflict that will occur at the end of times, involving a vast coalition of nations led by enigmatic figures known as Gog from the land of Magog. Gog is described as the supreme leader of Magog, Meshech, and Tubal. It is important to note that Gog is not a proper name, but a title for the leader of this hostile coalition against Israel. The exact identity of Gog has been the subject of speculation and interpretation over the centuries, varying according to different traditions and eschatological interpretations. Magog, in turn, is often associated with lands north of Israel. Although the exact location is difficult to determine, some interpretations suggest it could refer to regions that today comprise parts of Turkey, Iran, or even areas further north in Eurasia. The term Magog is also mentioned in Genesis 10 as one of the descendants of Japheth, which adds a layer of genealogical and historical complexity to its identification. According to Ezekiel, this coalition of nations will advance upon Israel in a future time, prompting an unprecedented divine intervention. God himself states that he will bring Gog against the land of Israel as an act of judgment against the aggressors and as a demonstration of his power and holiness before the nations. The beginning of a journey into the depths of one of the most enigmatic biblical prophecies unfolds before us, transporting us to a scenario where the veil of time dissolves revealing the pages of an ancient scripture that resonates with echoes of age-old spiritual battles. We are about to enter the realm of divine revelation, recorded in the pages of the book of Ezekiel, where the mysterious Gog, from the land of Magog, emerges from the shadows of history, commanding a vast coalition of nations in an apocalyptic assault against God's chosen people, Israel. This account, woven with the threads of prophecy and history, not only confronts us with the imminence of a spiritual conflict of cosmic proportions, but also challenges us to discern the signs of the times, to recognize the divine sovereignty that manifests itself both in the whispers of creation and in the roars of world events. The Battle of Gog and Magog, more than a mere territorial conflict, symbolizes the eternal struggle between the forces of light and darkness, between the divine purpose of redemption and the insidious plots of evil. In this scenario, the land of Magog, often associated with distant regions north of Israel, evokes images of territories shrouded in mystery and legends. Gog, in turn, is not just a name, but a title that embodies the essence of rebellion against the Creator, a harbinger of chaos that defies the order established by God since the dawn of creation. As we delve into this prophecy, we are invited to reflect on the role of the mentioned nations, Persia, Cush and Put, each carrying the weight of its own history and the promise of prophetic fulfillment. These prophetic events remind us that human history is a stage where the divine drama unfolds, where each actor, whether nation or individual, plays a role in God's eternal design. Brothers and sisters, the prophecy of Ezekiel not only anticipates a future event, but also offers us a glimpse into the heart of God who, even in the face of rebellion and conflict, seeks to restore, redeem, 
and gather his people under the banner of his inexhaustible mercy. The battle of Gog and Magog, therefore, transcends time and space, inviting us to participate, not as mere spectators, but as warriors of faith, armed with eternal truth and called to witness the final victory of divine love over the power of darkness. Thus, as we prepare to explore the depths of this prophecy, we are called to spiritual vigilance to recognize the signs of the times and to affirm our hope in the promise that, in the end, good will triumph over evil and light will dispel the shadows of night. This is the invitation that echoes through the centuries, a call to awaken and rise in defense of the kingdom that knows no end, under the reign of the Prince of Peace. As we consider the current tensions between Israel and Iran, it is imperative to delve into the depths of the dynamics shaping this conflict, not merely as a remnant of historical antipathies, but as a boiling cauldron of strategic and geopolitical interests. These elements not only stir the regional landscape, but also echo, perhaps, the whispers of prophetic conflicts predicted in the scriptures. The cornerstone of this complex edifice of tensions lies in the Iranian nuclear program, perceived by Israel as an existential threat. This perception does not emerge from a vacuum, but from the fertile ground of Iran's public statements, questioning the legitimacy of Israel's existence. In response, Israel has actively positioned itself in international arenas, seeking to curb Iran's nuclear ambitions, supporting sanctions and reportedly engaging in covert operations to sabotage Iranian nuclear facilities. This stance can be seen as an echo of the biblical warnings about vigilance against forces seeking destruction and disorder, as mentioned in Proverbs 24, 6, which advises us to seek wise strategies for battle. Furthermore, Iran's support for proxy groups in the Middle East adds additional layers of complexity to this already tense relationship. When we consider the current tensions between Israel and Iran in the light of biblical prophecies, especially regarding the Battle of Gog and Magog, there are significant arguments connecting these contemporary events to ancient predictions, weaving a panorama where faith, history, and geopolitics are inextricably intertwined. Firstly, the explicit mention of Persia in the prophecy of Ezekiel, identified with modern Iran, establishes a direct connection that many scholars and theologians find undeniable. Ezekiel mentions Persia as one of the main allies of Gog, and Iran's historical and contemporary stance against Israel aligns with this role described in the scriptures. This textual link provides a solid foundation for the assertion that Iran's confrontational posture can be seen as a fulfillment of the prophecy. Secondly, the coalition of nations that rise against Israel as described by Ezekiel often reflects current alliances. Groups supported by Iran, such as Hezbollah and Hamas, can be interpreted as part of the prophesied coalition against God's people, suggesting a broader symbolic fulfillment of the gathering of nations in opposition to Israel. Furthermore, the nature of the conflict, often centered on ideological and existential threats rather than territorial disputes, resonates with the spiritual and cosmic scale of the battle described by Ezekiel. The emphasis on divine intervention and resolution in the prophecy also echoes the deeply religious tones underpinning the current animosity between Iran and Israel. Proponents of this view argue that these elements are not coincidental, but manifestations of an unfolding divine narrative. This perspective invites believers to view the geopolitical landscape through a lens of faith, seeing modern-day events as parts of a larger divine plan that aligns with biblical prophecy. In the face of the immense reign of interpretation surrounding the prophecy of Gog and Magog, we have an invitation not only to textual understanding but to spiritual introspection. Are we witnessing the anticipation of a divinely orchestrated confrontation, or are we facing a mirror, reflecting our own inner struggle between light and darkness? This rhetorical question leads us to consider the relevance of prophecy, not only in a future context but in our daily living. In the literal view where Persia is seen as modern Iran and Gog emerges as an adversary of the end times, we are reminded of Jesus' words in Matthew 24, 42. Therefore, watch, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. 
This call to vigilance resonates with the idea that current events may be aligned with biblical prophecies, impelling us to constant spiritual preparation and readiness for divine purposes. On the other hand, interpreting Gog and Magog symbolically invites us to a reflection on the opposition we face within our own being. Paul in Ephesians 6.12 reminds us that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness. This passage echoes the symbolic nature of the battle, suggesting that each believer is engaged in a daily spiritual struggle that requires the full armor of God to resist and overcome. Central to both perspectives is the unquestionable sovereignty of God over the course of history and the certainty of His final victory. This leads us to reflect on Romans 8.37. But in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. The assurance of redemption and victory over evil, secured by Christ's death and resurrection, offers profound comfort and unwavering hope in the face of the world's uncertainties. Thus, whether through a literal lens, awaiting the physical manifestation of Gog and Magog, or a symbolic interpretation, recognizing the ongoing spiritual battle, we are called to a stance of faith, vigilance, and reflection. Prophecy calls us not only to look to the horizon for signs, but also inward, assessing our own faithfulness and readiness for the divine call. May this exploration be an invitation to each one to delve deeper into God's Word, seeking discernment, guidance, and strength amidst life's challenges.